There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... nervous. You just saved an island from descending into total madness. You can handle one drink. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> I've always wanted to try meat. What do you say? We find out who the real Norseman is with a little drinking contest. I'd say. me. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could do paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malika, you really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's Malaka. 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 <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I still love you! Please, our 
What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. All in a day's work. Oh, it's you! Thanks for bringing me to my senses at the fairy pools. I would have missed my daughter's wedding if you hadn't. Oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did, but yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, Let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though. I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. Ahem. <clears throat> My day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. To see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> it took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. It'll sadden me to see my new friend part. <laughs> Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed. Chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew.
Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. <sighs> Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Randvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well. Even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. <laughs> 